You want to hear from a real guitar player? Hey, look at this. Hey guys, welcome to Six Screen Corner. This is Tony. I'm here on the floor where the magic happens with effects. What we're gonna talk about today are overdrive pedals. This is part three of my pedal power series. So if you haven't watched the first two, they involve making sure your guitar and your amp sound fantastic before you get to your effects. I suggest that you take a look at those first and then come back here and we'll talk about the overdrive pedals. That's exactly what I get asked about. What's often a good first pedal to get? Everybody's a little bit different. I generally will say, if you're not really sure, go with some kind of overdrive pedal. We all like to rock and roll. We all like to have a little bit of grit, a little bit of gain to our uh, to our sound. There's tons of them out there. This is one's a little bit beat up. This is my Ibanez. It's a tube screamer. There's different variations of it. We're kind of missing a little, little dial right there, but uh, it still works. Works fantastic. It's about a hundred bucks. You can find a lot of different overdrive pedals for a lot cheaper that are out there. So just experiment. Go to a store, check them out. There's so many to choose from. It's a whole smorgasbord that you can look at. There are different types of overdrive pedals. There's uh, the Tube Screamer. So this is my sound that I have here without any effects on it that I'm going with. Okay, I put a little bit of gain on my amp. So I want to put a little bit of grit on it. So it gives a little bit of grit to it. That's an overdrive. That's actually the Tube Screamer sound. And some of you would like to go with something a little bit more uh, heavier with a distortion. A little more saturated, a little more, uh, definitely, definitely more heavy sounding. And there's different variations. There's the fuzz pedals, there's, oh dear, there's all kinds of them. So make sure you check those out. Go to a store, find out what works for you. But this is very important. Whatever works for you, okay? There's one thing that's constant that you need to make sure that you're doing, and that is checking for unity gain. What is unity gain? Unity gain is making sure, very simply, making sure that the level on your amp is the same or very close to the level when your effect is on. Sometimes, and I hear this a lot, people plug in their effect pedals and they kick it out and their volume is really low, or the opposite is really, really loud, okay? Balance it out. Go back and forth to how the amp is with the effect off, you know, kick it on, adjust those levels and make sure that you're pretty close to unity gain. Now later you may have a song or a style or something that you want to do where you want to really crank that. That's fine. That's for later. Right now this is the base. This is where you want to start. Okay. And make sure that those things are balanced out. And then have fun. Adjust your drive. You may have tone controls. You may have all kinds of different uh, options that are on that pedal. And go back and forth and see how well it works. And as long as your amp is sounding good, your guitar is sounding good, and now you got an overdrive that sounded good, man, I'm telling you what, you're gonna have one killer sound just with that. Thanks for watching.